President Park Geun-hye has vowed to hold those responsible in the ferry sinking strictly responsible, pointing an accusing finger at the crew's irrational and irresponsible actions when the Sewol Ho got into trouble. She also slammed the government's crisis management system, calling for the establishment of a strong control tower in countering and dealing with disasters such as this. For more, we're now joined by our Shin Semin from the News Center. Semin, fill us in. Yes, President Park Geun-hye says anyone who played a part in the deadly ferry sinking last week should be held accountable, according to both criminal and civil laws. At a meeting with her senior secretaries Monday, President Park then said the joint probe team of the prosecution and police should thoroughly and promptly clarify any suspicions that the public might have about this ship sinking, referring to the captain and the crew who are thought to have evacuated the sinking vessel before their passengers, the, the president said their acts were murderous and unimaginable on both legal and ethical grounds. President Park also criticized the government's insufficient emergency response at the beginning, saying the control tower should better oversee cooperation between the site of emergency and related ministries. Some very, very strong words there from the president. Now, a clearer picture has started to emerge about the events around the time of the Sewol Ho ferry capsizing with the release of uh, the conversation between the vessel controllers and the ship. And prosecutors are also broadening their investigation into the crew and the ferry's operator. Right. We're also getting word now of more arrest warrants being issued for some of the ferry's crew. What's the latest? Yes, this just coming in several minutes ago that investigators looking into the disaster have issued arrest warrants for four additional crew members, one of them being an engineer. Now, this is in addition to the captain and two other crew who were arrested over the weekend. Officials also say some 20 people related to the renovation of this Hewalho ferry have been summoned for questioning. Prosecutors have uh, previously said they would be looking into the mistakes made by the ferry's crew the botched evacuation attempt and the early rescue efforts and other related matters such as the extension of the cabin of, on the ferry. The Chungajin shipping company will also be investigated, including some 20, including some 20 crewmen and the captain, Lee jun -suk. The prosecutors also banned the family that owns the shipping company from, from leaving the country as the investigation may be extended. And a special task force will be organized for an urgent investigation on the cause of the capsizing. Also on the cause, the Sewalho ferry was a 20-year-old ship imported from Japan. And according to the report submitted by the Chunghejin Shipping Company to the Financial Supervisory Service, the ferry had undergone months of renovations to extend its sell, uh, sailing life for more than 10 years. Uh, the now, uh, Semin, the site of the accident, Chindo, and the city most touched by the tragedy, Ansan, have been declared as special disaster areas. This means they will now have access to special emergency funds and the government will cover the vast majority of the costs. That's right, Chinju. As you just said, the government has officially declared the two areas affected by the accident as special disaster zones. Ansan in Gyeonggi-do province and Chindogun County in the southwestern province of Cholanamdo are now considered um, two disaster areas. Ansan is where Tanon High School is located, um, and students there have made up a majority of passengers on board the ill-fated ferry. And Chindo is where the Sewalho ferry capsized last Wednesday, and it's also where the Pengmok. Kang Harbor is located the closest harbor to the accident site. These two areas will be able to receive the state funds that goes to search and rescue operations. And local taxes, including acquisition tax, will also be waived for those in the area. And although the reduction rates of the taxes vary, health insurance and the national pensions is to be reduced by 30 to 50 percent. Other general taxes will be either reduced or the deadline for payment will be postponed for, for up to nine months. And unlike, un, unlike natural disasters, the damage from man-made incidents like the capsizing of the ferry may differ, so the support will be customized depending on the circumstances of the victims. And also financial services will be provided to the victims and the families, including those still waiting for news of their loved ones. Guys? Thank you, Semin.